Okay, so um, I screwed up a little bit here on uh, step 81. I forgot to put a, a little metal washer underneath the screw, um, but that's an easy fix. So here's the little metal washer, and that has to go underneath the screw. Okay, so now we're on step number 82, and now we're going to use the short um, little, little spacers. That's going to go into this hole here on the wing. Um, I'm going to slide the wing forward, and it's got to go underneath right there, just like that. We're going to take another screw and the little washer again. And that gets screwed in there. Like that. And we're going to do the other side the same way. in your spacer. We want our washer and our screw. And there we go, just like that. Then we're on 83, we want to test it. And to test it, you just slide this forward all the way, and then the wings will close. And then when you open it and slide the stay back like that, it should lock the wings in place. Just like that. So that's pretty good. And mine is moving pretty freely. Um, I'm just going to snug down the screws. Not too tight. Uh, we don't want a lot of friction in anything, but we don't want the uh, screws to back out either, so. All right, so mine is working really good. Okay, so now we're on step number 84, and we're going to slide the wing uh, stay forward um, so that we can get into this big slot right here uh, because now we got to put the rubber band through there and this helps to have a tweezers I'm going to use my little hemostats here push it through and then grab it um, you can do this with your fingers. It does, you, you know. This just is a nice little tool to have. So, um, so here's the bottom, and I push through, and I'm going to take the top, and I'm just going to pass it around Come on. like that, and then pull tight there, like that. And I'm going to take this, and I'm going to pass it down inside. Like that. And now I'm going to push the wing all the way back. And I'm going to grab this at the same time. Okay, so push it all the way back. So now that, that rubber band kind of shake it so it goes down to the bottom. And then we're going to pull it from the back side right here. And now we're on step number 86, and we're going to take 
the boat tail. Now the boat tail does not get glued on. And the reason it can't get glued on is because we want to detach this rubber band be after the flight so that the rubber band doesn't, it's not stretched the whole time. So it's relaxed. So we're going to take this. Again, I'm going to use this little tool because it's really handy. So I'm going to just stick it through there, open it up, and grab my rubber band, pull it through just like that. I'm going to open up the rubber band and it goes around the outside like that. And you're just going to let it go and it's going to be like that. And now that rubber band is what keeps the tail cone on. You know, you got the rubber band pulling this way and at the same time it's pulling this way. So if everything works, if we close everything up and then we release it, it should automatically spring open. So let's see that again. So we're closing it like that. And then we just let go of the wings and they pop open. So that is perfect. Um, at this point, the, it is practically complete. Step number 87. I forgot the nose cone. So the nose cone will go on the front end. And at this point, um, we're going to do the trimming, but I'll also show you how the wings stay closed. So you're going to push them forward like that. Um, and then you got to get that coupler out of there. That piston. Now this piston is going to be attached to the shock cord, which is still inside here. And there's also going to be a parachute in there. But for now, I'll just, I'll just kind of show you. So this will go uh, uh, this actually going to go this way. I'm going to close up the wings. Then we're going to take the, the coupler and we're going to put, put it over the uh, little bolt, the, the wood pieces like that. So now it's, it's captured on the boat tail. And then we're going to slide everything forward. And if we have one pin that's longer than the other, you can get that one started first and then slide in the other one like that. And this is the flight configuration. So then when the piston is pushed forward by the ejection charge of the motor, um, it's going to push this off. And this is where I wanted this a little bit looser. Um, so that's going to come out there like that. The piston's going to come off the back end. And once it comes off the back end, it releases. This is going to come down on its own parachute. And then this is going to glide down. So in our next step, uh, we'll start um, trimming it, um, getting it ready for glide, because uh, that will be the last step before we're ready to launch. Mm -hmm.